we had the coin toss and I was going to receive. So I'm going to get that game started real quick here. I'm joined by T. Clink in the booth. Welcome, Clink. Welcome, everybody. Welcome into a nice uh, Tuesday evening football style here on the NWO. And when this game is at Death Valley, so uh, once these guys are good to go, we'll get started and uh, see what Iowa does on the road. First game with JT in charge. See how he does it instead of uh, Jimmy. It's driving Jimmy weird to see it on the schedule. So that'll be weird for us to see JT running the team too. So here we go. Yeah, turn me up a little bit, Jimmy. George is saying I'm too quiet. All right. As soon as these coaches are ready, we're going to be going. Should be a good one for sure. Um, like you said, Jimmy's coming out with the new Iowa team, and then JB's back with his uh, LSU Tigers here. All right, here's the kickoff. Straight down the middle, deep and out of the end zone, through the uprights, actually. So Iowa Hawkeyes will start on their own 25-yard line, first drive of this game. See how they uh, work under the uh, new head coach. We got Joe Labus as the uh, – I'm going to call him Labia, guys. It's Joe Labus at quarterback leading this team out. First game on the road. Wait for these guys to get their, uh, there we go, get their play calling ready. Oh, Niall Kinnick in at quarterback. In the wishbone, hands off. Wet Jet grabbed and dropped. Only a one-yard game. Caden Wet Jet. Wet Jen, sorry. <laughs> Can't speak clearly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they were on him pretty quick. So, see if LSU's uh, prepared for this uh, triple option offense that Iowa said they were going to run this year. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Kinnick under center again in the uh, wishbone shotgun this time. Fake handoff. Oh, fakes the pitch and gets dropped for no gain. Had the pitch open, decided to try the fake. It's going to bring up a third and nine. First uh, long third down of the game. Should be interesting to uh, see what uh, JT goes with. Like you said, two straight uh, triple options and nothing gained really. Looks like both these guys are taking their time getting their play calls. It's not like the game clock's moving anyway. There it goes. All right. Now they come out in regular shotgun formation. Labus drops, hits the screen pass to Williams, looking for a block, cuts inside, and finally gets mm. brought down after only three-yard gain. It's going to be fourth down and six. And uh, get ready for the JT special on the punting here. Yeah, so that's tough for Iowa there. Um, not much going on the offensive side now. Good to see JB and the new look Tigers on offense here. and See what uh, the Iowa defense can do here. And see if he gets a good skip here and if he can put this out inside 20. Nice low line drive. Hits. No, he caught it on the run at the 32. Trips over one of his guys and gets brought down at the 45. Malik Neighbors, 10 yard return. And that's where LSU is going to start their first drive, very close to midfield. Great coverage there by the Iowa kick return team there. Now drops on the defense for Iowa and LSU's offense here. Bottom. Yeah, I didn't get to see as many LSU games last year as uh, some of the other teams, just based on schedule alone. So I haven't uh, watched Junior Broncos play as much. So this will be interesting for me as well, calling this game. The offense is very dynamic. Um, kind of comes out with more of a spread style offense, though, for sure. And there they are. One tight end, three receivers to the left. Came to the right. Sends the tight end in motion into the slot. Here's the handoff. Tries to get outside to the left, gets hit immediately. Only a two-yard gain for Noah Kane, and he'll be second down and eight. Mm. That, that's that's a, that's a big hit there by the Iowa defense, and looks like they're uh, staying tough here, uh, starting out the game, Vaughn. Yeah, these uh, both defensives have not given up much at all on the first, what, three plays outside of the punt. So it's going to be who can uh, find a hole, break a long run get behind a DB, hit a big play, and uh, kind of flip this field. Sean yeah, is all 47. Comes out with two halfbacks, Goodwin and Kane in the backfield, three receivers, no tight end on the field. 
Hooties to the left. Play clock down to five, four, three. Here's a snap, fake handoff, drops, rolls to his right, looking, being chased out of the pocket completely, and throws it away for an incomplete pass. Smart play by Daniels. Bring up a third down and eight. He had nobody on that side of the field to throw to either. Not only a smart play, but a great uh, pursuit there by the Iowa defense. Not just one guy, but he had uh, multiple people there on the quarterback there. Great pursuit there by the Iowa defense to make this uh, third and eight. Yeah, he took away his scramble lane, and he had no one to throw it to, so he just had to get rid of it. Smart play there. Good pursuit by Iowa. And then uh, the Tigers having their first long third down of the game as well. Let's see if they can convert, or we're going to have uh, two punts to start the game. Not much, uh, not much room for either offense right now. And we get two tight ends to the left. Receiver comes across the formation. And we get two tight ends left. Two receivers right. Daniels drops, looks, throws. Got the out route at the forty. Breaks a tackle down inside the thirty-five yard line. Nineteen yards to Cole Taylor, and that's a first down for the Tigers. Great play there by. Uh... <clears throat> Daniels there to get the tight end and uh, keep the drive going for the Tigers. Great play. Great play call there by the offense coordinator. And he got rid of it fast. So the uh, pass rush couldn't get to him. Man got open quick, threw the ball quick, moved the chains all the way down to the 34. Let's see what uh, both teams decide to dial up on this one. First big play of the game. All right. Got two receivers left, two right. I think that's the tight end on the slot over there on the left. Daniels making an adjustment. Handoff. Kane wheels up the middle. Was that Kane? Yep. Okay. Seven yard gain right up. He found a hole. Dove forward. Got seven. It's going to be second down and three. Great run there by uh, Kane. Kane finding a little bit of room now here. Looks like um, LSU finally got a rhythm going. Short second and three lets them pretty much do whatever they want on offense, whether they want to keep running, take a shot. Third down would only be third and three if they uh, throw an incomplete pass. So, All right, they got two tight ends, two receivers to the right. Hands off, spins up the middle, bounces off one guy. He's going to be short. He gains two in the play. It's going to be third down and one. Again, I was... They can pretty much run any play they want. Go ahead, Clint. Yeah, they're able to run anything they want right now. And um, I was holding up kind of strong up front right now. They're they're getting penetration pretty easily right now. And um, maybe hopefully they can keep a keep it going here and possibly get a stop here on third and one. And you also have to count for Daniels running. If nothing's open quick, you can just scramble to get out there, just get across the first down, get down. See what they want to do. Yeah, that's the thing about this offense. You still got to worry about Daniels uh, running the ball, and he's just good with his legs and his arm. Quick throws. Got a wide receiver screen, and he gets caught. That's a five yard loss. The uh, defense got in there quick and didn't let him get up the field behind his blocks. Big, huge hit. Fourth and six now from the 30. I think they were trying to catch him off guard, and Iowa was not uh, not surprised at all. Not fooled there at all by Iowa. Great defensive play there. Great penetration there, like I said. That uh, D-line's able to get in there. Now you got a left foot kicker kicking from the left hash. He's got to bring that all the way back. It's going to be about a 42-yard, 47-yard field goal. Kick is up, and it's good. And LSU takes the first lead of the game, 3 nothing. See how Iowa does uh, on their next possession since they had to go four and out the first time. And uh, revamp with the raid. Welcome in, guys. Welcome, Raiders. All right, LSU with the kickoff. Kicked it through the upright last time. Looks like they're going to do it again this time. They're not letting... Uh, Iowa run the ball back, which is pretty smart. We saw what uh, JT did at Texas A&M and probably have the uh, same situation at Iowa. Get a good fast guy back there and run some kicks back. All right. From their own 25, they need to get some sort of rhythm built up on offense like LSU did on theirs. Try to move the ball, sustain the drive, get some first downs. 
pistol formation. Labus drops, looking. Little pressure up the middle, rolls out to his left. Trying to find a guy, he's just going to scramble back inside, takes it back outside and slides down around the 48 yard, I'm sorry, 43 yard line. Gets the first down. Nice, smart play by Iowa. Great decision by Laviston. Had nobody open and then able to find room, get a big gain there for Iowa. Got the ball moving now. Yeah, it looked like LSU thought he was just going to run out of bounds. He made that little cut back inside, then back outside, picked up another five or six yards. And they're back to their uh, triple option, full house backfield. Now can get quarterback. Here's the handoff to Williams, gets a good block, cuts outside, tries to cut it back in, still gains nine yards on the play. It's going to bring up a short second down and one. Looks like Iowa got something, got something going now on offense here. Two big plays. One by the quarterback now got the running game going with the running back going. And both plays to the left side, attacking LSU's uh, right side of their defense. See if that uh, continues or he's just uh, taking what the team's giving him right now. Second and one, they're going to come back out in this full house. Nope, Labus is under center. Got the Maryland formation. Three running backs, two tight ends. And he just those quarterback sneak. Did he get enough? Yes. Got he gave him gift two yards. It looked like he barely got one, but either way, it's a first down. Move the chains down to the two minute mark in the first quarter. Great, great, great play call. Get the drive, keep going. Um, JT um, doing what he does best is keeping the ball in, in his hand and um, keeping the drive going. That's the main thing right now. All right, and they come back out now. Three receivers set, tied into the right. Williams running back to the right. Levis making an adjustment. Took the uh, corner linebacker faking here. Levis gets pressure in his face, runs, and he – oh, he just does get rid of it. Almost looked like a fumble, but his incomplete pass going to bring up second down and 10. And they're lucky, going to lucky play there by Levis to barely get that one off. And he was lucky the uh, defender didn't pick that ball off before it hit the ground. Going back, no huddle. LSU stack in the middle of the field. Drop pressure hard from his left, throws over the middle and picked at the 40, I'm sorry, the 35 yard line. He's not down yet, there he is. First turnover of the game, undercut that pass and uh, LSU has the ball right back. Looked like uh, maybe a late throw there by Labus, um, having the tight end open early on and then uh, kind of forcing that one and defender uh, jumped up in front and got the ball. Yeah, Labus is not known for having a uh, strong arm, so he's got to be really consistent with his throws and uh, get him there on time. And that one was a little late. Defense undercut it, like you said. Let's see what LSU does here if they can capitalize. They're coming out, empty backfield, five receivers. Play clock down. Here's Daniels. Just quarterback draw right up the middle. Tries to force his way through. He's not down yet. Finally, he is. Six yard gain. Can bring up second down and four. Spread him out, run up the middle. I've seen that before. Neither have I, Vaughn. I've not seen that. All right, see what the Tigers have on, uh, on their plate here for, for next play. Both coaches taking a lot of time to get their defensive and offensive plays called. All right, pistol formation, two to the left, two to the right. Kane in the backfield behind Daniels. Defense shifting to the middle, play clock down to six. Four, three, there's Daniels. Stop, throws deep down the sideline, and it's caught at the 30-yard line. He's dragged down at the 28-yard line. Brian Thomas Jr., first catch of the game for him and another first down by the Tigers. 50-50 ball there, Vaughn. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, the defender didn't go up with it. Other than that, it, it looked like it was a 50-50 ball thrown kind of there, though. Yeah, he had a step on him, just put it in the right spot, had enough uh, arc to it that it could come down beyond the DB. <clears throat> 
see if they're going to keep taking shots here. Now they got a tight end and a, two backs in the backfield. Tight end goes in motion into the slot. Uh, look for a. There's a handoff up the middle. Tries to get through. He swarmed over and dropped one yard gain for Kane. Good play by Iowa defense to stop that play before it got started. Iowa defense, uh, the running defense is looking real tough right now. Yeah, LSU's had a little bit of luck running inside, but uh, a few of those plays, I was able to get penetration, drag him down. We have five seconds left here in the first quarter. Probably won't get this playoff, so we're going to take this into the second quarter with uh, LSU up three to nothing over Iowa. Stay tuned, guys. After this game, we have another game that is doubleheader tonight on the NWO. Second game immediately after this is going to be Wisconsin against Baylor. So that's Coach Brousseau against Sir Panda Slayer. So stick around and uh, catch both games. Definitely another uh, defensive battle going into the second game as it is in this first game so far. All right. And then you got. Then you got a defensive mind coach and Coach Brousseau going off the of Panda. Should be an interesting one, though. New look uh, Wisconsin team with a new quarterback. Yeah, Panda loves to run quarterback and sling the ball all over the place, so we'll see how he does against Coach Brousseau's defense. All right, Daniels drops, rolls hard to his left. He has a man open, tries to get him to get a block, and he doesn't, and he gets run out of bounds. Only a one-yard gain to come bring up a third down and eight. He was hoping for that receiver to go upfield and block, and he just ignored the, the uh, defender. Yeah, it looks like uh, the awareness by that wideout's not too high there. Um, very um, – might be a little concerning in the future trying to run uh, with that receiver to in front of him. All right, last time LSU had a third and long. Completed a nice big play out of that, so see what they do here. They are in field goal range already. This kicker probably make it from 55, I'm sure, the way he's been kicking kickoffs through the uprights, so – be about a what 42 yard field goal from here roughly 43 yards they don't gain any more yards halfback goes in motion into the slot empty backfield now daniels looks plenty of time throws deep down the side again and overthrows his receiver uh, looked like he locked on and tried to make a user catch and he missed and same thing with jt he was trying to go up and pick it off oh my and gave him defensive pass interference wow Wow. That's, that's, a that's, that's, a, that's a tough call there. He's trying to go up and get the ball. The receiver stopped and uh, gave him interference. So, yeah, that was a definite EA ho call there. It's going to be first down at the 11-yard line now for LSU Tigers. <clears throat> All right, they got that two tight end formation with both receivers to the right. On the short side, sends Kane out in motion to the left. Daniels drops, rolls hard to his right quick, looking up the end zone. He's got a lane to run up the sideline, and he gets pushed out right around the two-yard line. It's going to be second down and one. Looked like he may have had a shot to get to the end zone, but he didn't want to dive and possibly fumble, so he just got as much as he could and got pushed out. Yeah, still lucky not to fumble that ball, though, Vaughn. Yeah, I, I, I hate getting hit from the side as a quarterback. And here goes Daniels. Read option. Nobody on that side of the field. He casually walks in for a two-yard touchdown. And we're an extra point away from a 10-0 lead for the Tigers. This left-footed kicker is going to uh, confuse me all night long. All right, kick is up and good, and it's 10-0 Tigers. Iowa still trying to find out uh, what they can and can't do on offense. If they can uh, get a nice, long, sustained drive here, see how much they want to go back to the triple option, or are they going to have to uh, start using some short and intermediate passes? <laughs> Revamp just Revamp said this game hoes more than the LSU cheerleaders. <laughs> can't better chill out. <laughs> All right, Iowa trying to get something going. See if they uh, switch up and do something uh, completely different here, if they're just going to try and pound the ball. 
They've had success running the ball with the quarterback in uh, their halfback. Um, just not be able to get anything through the air right now. And he's spreading them out with five receivers. Brings the guy in motion to the right. Labus rolls to the right. Running, oh, the receiver ran out of bounds. Now he comes back in and he does get a block. Labus picks up eight yards, gives him a nice second down and two. Couldn't throw it to him because the receiver ran out of bounds on his own, so he's automatically ineligible. So I don't know what that animation was, but it was terrible. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> very head scratching. It looks like head JT, the coach, kind of scratching his head over there on the sideline right now. All right. Two tight ends. Offset fullback over there. Here's the fake handoff. Williams trying to get to the outside. Gets around the edge. He's to the 50, 45. The defender dives and misses. And finally, the safety drags him down around the 23 yard line. Nice long run by Williams. Picks up a huge first down. Gets him deep into Tiger territory. 22 yard line. Wild Hawkeye comes to life there. Makes the running game probably the best play on offense so far. And um, it's crazy to see a Wild Hawkeye be your best play. And he got to the edge, had way more speed than the end. And at that point, becomes a foot race with the secondary. And he just tried to run him over because he had the angle and uh, pick up as much as he could. Now we're back to the uh, full house backfield. Williams tries to get to the outside, only manages to get one yard on the play. He's second down and two. It looks like uh, JT saying that, that was a pass and it was a handoff. Very, very confused about Niall Kinnick there, uh, looks like coaches. <laughs> oh, my God, the chat is cracking me up already. All right, full house again. Kinnick, fake handoff. Rolls to his left hard to avoid pressure. Looking up the sideline. Doesn't, doesn't get a block, but he goes between two guys. Picks up five. It's going to be third down and four. <laughs> Jimmy said in chat the uh, labia sat out of play, and he's still red. <laughs> <laughs> oh man alright Kinnick full house backfield here's the handoff to Wetjin and he's dragged down for a one yard loss it's going to bring up fourth down Let's see if Iowa just goes ahead and takes the field goal no they're going to go uh, no huddle on him not satisfied to take the field goal they want the uh, touchdown oh uh... Let this clock wind down. Maybe this is just trying to see if they can get him off sides or something. Yeah, he's he's trying the hard count to see if some of the uh, one of the CPU guys will jump or not. Let this play clock. Even if he takes a five yard penalty, he should be able to kick the field goal from there. And it's going to be a false start. Not a call timeout. No, it is a false start. That's all right. Delay game, whatever it was. I think it was a false start. That's okay, just mar marching back. It's going to be a 39-yard field goal now, well within his range. Get this down to a one-score game. Taylor bangs this one straight through the middle. And now it's 10-3 uh, LSU with 3.33 left in the first half. LSU is trying to uh, stretch that out. They do get the ball to start the second half, so if they can eat the rest of this clock, they'll basically get a two-for-one. Iowa's going to be looking for a quick stop or a turnover. Very promising drive there, it looked like, for Iowa, and just not able to punch it in there. Yeah, they were down two scores, so it didn't matter. Any kind of points was going to be helpful. Here's the run back straight up the middle. Jukes to the outside. He's got a lane. Gets away from one guy. Gets another block. And diving tackle right around the 43-yard line. Saves a possible touchdown. 52 yards on that return, and that's where LSU starts at their own 44. <laughs> Very defensive, uh, heavy uh, game tonight so far, uh, Vaughn. It's it's not necessarily strange here in the NWO, but it's it's something different. Yeah, expect a little more. I mean, JT's got a new, completely new uh, team to deal with. He's got to rebuild the uh, depth on this team and their impact players. So he's trying to learn what this guy, this, these guys can do. Here's a shot by Daniels. Going to be another first down and a diving tackle. 14 yards to Mashburn. Puts them in uh, Iowa territory. 
yeah, JT's learning his team, and uh, I think Junior Broncos has a lot of talent. He's just trying to figure out how best to use those guys. Yeah, definitely a lot of talent on the LSU team. And um, like you said, JT's still trying to figure out this Iowa team for sure. Um, doesn't look like Broncos uh, is not really – he's trying to maybe score quickly here, not trying to use as much clock as we thought he would. All right, right around three minutes, ten seconds left. Pistol formation. Iowa crowding the middle on the D-line. Daniel's making an adjustment. Safety creeping up. Play clock down to two. One gets the snap off. Daniel's drifting, looking deep shot down the hash mark, and he's caught yeah. inside the 10, 34 yards to Chris Hilton Jr. Big first down deep into Iowa territory now. And uh, LSU's, like you said, they're looking to score quick and not uh, eat any of this clock. All right, see if Iowa can uh, get strong and in, inside the 10 here, at least hold them to a field goal. There you go, unbalanced again, two receivers right, two tight ends. Fake handoff, read option straight up the middle and gets hit, dropped right around the two and a half yard line, six yard gain for Daniels. Mm -hmm. It's gonna bring up second and goal. <clears throat> LSU team starting to really, really get a rhythm here on offense. Still trying to um, find identity more than anything on offense. Looks like most of the running games run through uh, JT right now. And um, maybe doesn't have much trust in the running backs. And I was looking to uh, <laughs> knock him out of the game or make him fumble. They tried a big hit stick there at the inside. Here's a handoff. Kane cuts it in and falls forward, gets the touchdown. Two-yard touchdown run. Once LSU kicks this extra point, they're going to be up 14 with 202 left in the half. Iowa definitely <laughs> needs to get a score. You need a touchdown before halftime since LSU starts with the ball in the second half. Still got two minutes and all three of your timeouts left for Iowa. Not too much of a concern. Trying to, just got to try to find a balance on your offensive side of things right now. Uh, been mostly able to do damage through the the air. Now you got to find something through the air right now. Or the ground, not the air. My bad. Identity's on the ground. Now you get something through the air going. And for the third straight time, LSU kicks the ball through the uprights. So I will start their third third drive of the game on the uh, twenty-five yard line. Got one touchdown or one touchdown. They got one score, a field goal, and they got one interception, and they have one punt. So they've uh, kind of been all over the place in their results. Had a nice drive. Like you said, they stalled out in the red zone last time. So they're looking to uh, finish this off this time. Pistol formation, Labus. Quick drop, throws out, caught Bruce. Eight yard gain. Second down and two, taking uh, quick yards while they can. There we go. We got uh, at least a pass to be completed there by Labus, and hopefully they continue on this drive to probably find a passing game with Labus going going forward. Looks like we're uh, just waiting for a defensive call. There we go. All right, play clock 23, game clock at 140. Pistol formation, Labus, quick throw. Got the man out in the uh, open space. Tries to spin inside to avoid a defender, but he gets the first down either way. Either way, Anyway, Caden Wetgen moves the sticks, temporarily stops the clock, and now they go no huddle. And now the QB does that annoying animation. Mm. Love that animation. Here's the handoff to Williams. Tries to juke, cuts back towards the middle, falls forward, picks up. Six yards on the play, second down and four. Minute 20 left. They're not calling timeout. They are going to go no huddle. They found a lot of success with LaShawn so far, and I'm interested in see if they just keep on feeding him right now. Pick up six yards on first down. It's, it's, uh, there you go. Labus rolls out to his left. He's got a man, cuts it up through two defenders, slides down, gets the first down. Clock stops at 105 as they get back to the line of scrimmage. 
Yeah, he's Labus has had some very good scrambles to his left. Williams has found some uh, daylight as well. It's just the uh, passing game that hasn't been uh, firing right now. No, the, both both teams have had success around the ball with the quarterback. Labus drifting, rolling to his right, throws down the numbers, and this one is batted down and almost picked off at two different Ooh. defenders who could have had that ball. Had his receiver open, he just couldn't get the ball to him. Yeah, very dangerous throw there by Labus. Like you said, like we were talking about at the beginning of the game, arm strength ain't that great, so that throws like that, uh, going to be kind of tough. And he's almost going to have to get his feet set and then fire a bullet pass to try and get the ball there. All right, we got trips tight to the right, Bruce way to the left. Labus, quick drop, rolls, throws, man open down the hash, caught Lachey down to the 25. Big first down, 22 yard reception. It's his first catch <laughs> of the game, and they go no huddle again. Big man Lachey starting to hopefully we can get see him get more involved. He's was one of the big playmakers when uh, Jimmy had him. All right, same formation, tight trips to the right. Hand off to Williams, cuts up the middle, swerves around one guy, dropped by another, only a two-yard gain. Down to 46 seconds. Iowa does not call a timeout. LSU does. Interesting, interesting, interesting there. He's trying to uh, get a stop and have a little bit of time left. That's what he's looking at. See how JT responds here. If he's going to run another one and make him burn another timeout. Easily in field goal range, but you know he wants seven. <clears throat> All right. Power eye formation. Johnson comes in motion. Lavis drops. Looking over the middle. Scrambles into a stack. Mm. Drop for an 11-yard loss. It's going to bring up a long third and 19, and LSU calls another timeout. That's, 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 that's tough for Labus there. Unfortunately, his offensive line kind of sold on him there. They were, looked like a bunch of baby backs on that play. And he had quick penetration on the backside, and he spun right into the sack. Didn't get much help from the uh, running back either, but I think he was running out to go out into uh, a pass route, a delayed little uh, drag out there, and he uh, totally missed on the block. All right, we've got two receivers left, one to the right. Williams in the backfield. Do have a tight end on the right. Maybe he's going to help block. There's pressure off the left. Labus rolls to his right, slings it down. Caught again by Lachey, down to the inside the 10-yard line, right around the 9, 25-yard gain, brings a first and goal with 36 seconds left. Great play call there by JT, and, and a great catch there by Lachey. Way to get your big playmaker, Lachey, uh, involved on the offense and drive this drive. Yeah, if your quarterback can't throw it deep enough for your wideouts, then get the next best guy, and that's the tight end. So he's got to find somebody that can move the ball, especially through the air against this defense. And uh, set it up pretty good. They still have three timeouts, 36 seconds. They can do whatever they want, play calling wise. Slot guy Wetchin goes in uh, motion to the left. Defense doesn't move. Hand off to Williams, tries to get to the outside and gets dropped right. That's going to be a lot to one on the play. The second goal. And LSU calls their last timeout. Defense uh, got great penetration there. That, that linebacker safety, whatever it was, got uh, broke that tackle off and or break, uh, shed that block real quick and was able to get back in the backfield there. All right, second goal from the 10. Again, 32 seconds left, plenty of time. LSU's out of timeouts. Iowa still have three. Full house, Kinnick, fake handoff, tries to get to the outside and gets tripped and dropped for minus three yards on the play. Going to bring up third and goal as the clock winds down close to 20 seconds. Game clock still rolling. At this point, if I'm JT, I just I just play it safe here and then uh, take the three points. Got to get a play called and uh, run quick. We're down to 15 seconds. It's going to have to burn a timeout. Looks like he may just let this clock wind down and kick a field goal. Yeah, that's what it looks like it's happening. Yeah, he called timeout with 10 seconds, so he's going to give himself two plays. And since he has two timeouts, it pretty much can be any play he wants. If he wants to run, he can. If he wants to pass, he can. If he wants to scramble. 
Still got time for two or three plays, depending on how quickly, like you said, uh, how quickly his passes are. All right, two to the left, one to the right, tight end to the right. Labus in the shotgun. <laughs> Taking his time. Defense adjusts. They all drop back. Looks like they're going to be guarding the goal line here. Play clock down to seven. Here's a fake handoff, and he tries to get up the middle. No gain on the play. Still stays right in the center of the upright, so it should be an easy field goal try here as the uh, clock is stopped with four seconds left. And they're just going to take their points. Like I said, it's probably the best move play it safe, run the ball, at least get your points before half here. Like you said earlier, Broncos does get the ball back after half. So great play call, great to keep um, possession in your hands and able to get points. And uh, field goal was so quick. There's still one second left here, so I was going to have to kick this ball off. They're just going to go onside kick because they, uh, they don't want to let LSU run it back. Kicks it straight out of bounds, though. And that's a penalty. Mm. And let's see where they mark this one because we had this issue. It's at the 45. So that would be a 62-yard field goal for uh, LSU if they wanted to try it. No, I don't see him trying it. Looks like we're going to get a Hail Mary pass here by J uh, JT Daniels. All right, we got trips to the right. Looks like we got either a tight end or two guys to the left tight. Plenty of blocking, looking, patient. Here comes the rush, throws it deep. And this one is caught in the, oh, it's batted down. Thought for sure it was going to be intercepted. Either way, play broken up by Iowa. And we go to halftime. The score 17 to 6, LSU. Well, Bob, what's your uh, takes from the first half here? Um, the biggest take I see is Iowa inability to uh, score a touchdown in the red zone. They've gotten down there, and they've had two drives stall out. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily – I mean, he tried to run some triple option in there. Maybe that's working more in the middle of the field where the field isn't quite as condensed or what. But LSU's defense clamped down in the red zone and uh, forced two field goals. So, you know, if he gets those two touchdowns instead, we're looking at a three-point game. Yeah, you like to, like you said, get those uh, touchdowns instead of field goals there. Uh, maybe, maybe throw in some play action come the second half here. Um, but other than that, um, it's going to be a, looks like a rebuilding year here for uh, Iowa. Um, but defenses look great on both sides of the ball. LSU and Iowa defenses looked real good. Run defense for Iowa has been great. Um, just got to watch out for the JT Daniels' uh, scampers and then just got to get some pressure on the quarterback a little bit more, it looks like. All right, we get the second half going here with the kickoff. It's going to be about seven or eight yards deep, and they're going to bring it straight out right up the middle, looking for a lane. He's got one right up the middle. Gets as many yards as he can and gets dropped up to Malik Neighbors for 35 yards. And LSU is going to start with the ball on their own 27 to uh, start the second half. Should be interesting to see what LSU decides to do. They start putting the, the hammer down or they, they stay patient and been doing what they're doing and just drive down the field. Haven't really seen the big play that we normally see in the NWO, big long plays that we normally see. They got trips left here, tied into the right in the pistol. Yeah, Kane hasn't run the ball as much as I thought he would, but Daniels has been able to extend some uh, series with his own legs. Here's Kane straight up the middle, runs into a defender, and it's going to be five yards. Looked like it was two or three, and it ended up being five. He's second down and five for LSU. Yeah, great play, great uh, great run there by Kane. Kane able to find a hole and wiggle his way through it to get, get at least five yards out of that one. See what the LSU wants to do here. They were, they were uh, their last drive right before half, they were uh, going very quick, trying to take some shots down the field. Weren't interested in burning time off the clock. They just want to get another touchdown. See if they want to uh, run the ball a little more in this half with the uh, two-score lead. 
or they just want to uh, put up as many points as they can. Got a weird formation. Tight end to the right, two receivers, and a fullback to the left. Daniels rolls out. He's got a man coming in his face. He dumps it over to the middle of the halfback who came out of a little mini wheel route, and then he picks up three yards on the play. It's going to be third down and two. He had a safety right in his face, going to hit him hard. He just dumped it off, and he's uh, very fortunate to catch the ball. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand how he's able to get that ball off because, like you said, he had a man directly right in his face. Let's see what they do here. Iowa needs to stop, get back in this game with a touchdown, get it back down to a one-score game. LSU comes out, four receivers in the pistol. Daniels barking out something. Play clock down to six. There's a snap. Looking, drifting, rolling hard to his right. Stops, throws it down the sidelines. Got a man open. Caught at the 25, and he's going to go to the house. Big score for LSU over the top. Touchdown makes this game after the X point. 24 to six. Nice throw. Beautiful throw there by JT Daniels. And there, there's the big play that, we, that I was talking about there. Suck here. I got to respond to chat. There you go, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, extra points. Good. 24 to 6 LSU leads. 528 left in the half. And Iowa's got to, uh, they got to get a touchdown. And they need to control this clock a little bit. Keep LSU's offense off the field. And again, right through the uprights. I still think they ought to give you one point for kicking the kickoff through the upper right. Whatever. There we go. Iowa have, has been able to move the ball down the field. They just can't get it in the end zone. See if that changes on this drive right here. See what JT comes up with. Yeah, JT is going to have to start getting the ball going here with Iowa, either through the air, ground, something, and then have to get touchdowns now at this point to even try to get back in this game. Right, Levis takes a shot up the straw up the uh, hash marks to Williams. Quick hitter, LaShawn, 28 yards. Running back, nice out of the slot catch there. And they're gonna go no huddle on him. Quick, nice, quick throw. He didn't have to uh, loft it too long. Got by his uh, defender and uh, got into that nice little spot there between the safeties. Levis looking, stepping to his right, rolling out. He's got plenty of room up to the 45, 40, down to the 30. Out of bounds at the 26-yard line, I think it was. 22-yard gain. It's going to be a first down. He's already got 49 yards rushing. Probably leads the team at this point. Yeah, most likely. No, I think uh, Williams actually leads the team with that big long run earlier in uh, the Wild Hawk. All right, see what they have here. He's been trying to pass the ball, but the uh, – Secondary's kind of shut down his receivers. Pressure's forced him out, but he's made the most of it. Here's Labus. Pressure off the edge. Throws. Got a man over the middle. That's Lachey down inside the five. 22 yards for him and another big first down deep in the uh, Tigers' territory, and they're going to go no huddle again. They like the defense that LSU has on the field right now. That's a big play there by, uh, by Lachey to get open for his mate, uh, quarterback. and Throw. Oh! Oh, that ball might have been deflected at the, at the line. It looked like he was going to scramble left again, stopped, had a man open on the uh, slant route, and it looked like the ball got deflected down to the ground. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's a rough play there for like, um, Labus. Had a man wide open and just short-armed it. It looked like maybe, or like you said, could have possibly been deflected. Who knows? Very unfortunate there for Labus. Four receivers set in the pistol. Levis turns, hands off, nope, fake, rolling, looking, throwing in the corner, caught, touchdown, Johnson. Keegan Johnson gets them on their on the board with their first touchdown, not on the board in the first points, but see if he goes for two to get this down to a 10-point game or just takes the extra point. He had two guys uh, there and just found the one in the back. He had a man coming straight for, for him there for a big hit and just got, got it off before he could get that hit off on him. Heck of a dot there. Extra point is good. Now it's an 11-point game. 
with uh, just under five minutes left in the third quarter. Plenty of time. See if their defense can uh, get the ball back quick. LSU's had a couple of plays up the sideline today. They're not shy about taking shots if they get them. Here's the kickoff from Taylor. And it's going to be out of the end zone. LSU's finally going to get the ball at their own 25-yard line. Must be a pretty strong wind on that direction, too. Yeah, I, the way that uh, the flags are moving at the top of the stadium there, it looks like they got a pretty decent wind going from left to right. or Maybe diagonally across the field or something? Yeah. Diagonally left to right. Let's see what LSU does here. They're going to just keep taking shots. They want to uh, get Kane involved with running. Got a big formation, two tight ends offset to the right. Now they send Kane in motion. Which means they're pretty much going to throw or run with Daniels here. Play clock down to three. Daniels looking, throws. Got the out route at the 40. Dragged down at the 43. Brian Thomas, another 18-yard catch. The yeah. out route. The good old out route. It's a good out. The bail pass play there to the out. Big money play here in the NWO is the good old out route. Yeah, game can't, uh, the game can't defend it, so you might as well abuse it while you can, right? And uh, let's see. I think we're having trouble calling plays on either team. All right, game clock down to 440, under 440 now. We've got trips to the left, tight end to the right. Defense is shifting. Send the tight end out to the right now. Here's the handoff counter and cuts it back up the middle. Gets by one man out to the 44, down to the 30, and knocked out of bounds maybe at the 31. 27 yard gain. I'm having trouble with the uh, yard marker because a LSU is the only school that has uh, the numbers on every five yards instead of 10. So sorry about that. But big run for Kane. Gets him another first down all the way at the 30 yard line of Iowa. Well, it looks like it might answer my question if he trusts his running backs or not. Able to get Kane going here, uh, start the second half here off strong. Uh, looks like the running game finally starting to get, get a groove. And that's the first counter we've seen all game from those guys. <clears throat> got a shift. we got two running backs split in the backfield. Play clock down to seven, six, five. Daniels, quick drop, drifting, looking, got a lane to run, scrambles up the sidelines, takes it all the way to the 25 and gets thrown to the ground out of bounds. Of course, there's no penalty in this game on that. Might as well take your shots while you can. Might as well get the shots in while you can. My goodness. Maybe try to get that man out of the game. All right, LSU's been able to move the ball with their uh, both quarterback and running back on this drive. Couple of nice pass plays. Let's see what they do here. Second and five. Get two running backs back there with Daniels. Iowa's crowding the middle, looking for an inside run. Bring a receiver in motion now. Fake handoff, drops, looking. Scrambles hard to his left, being chased to the sideline and gets pushed out at the 25. Said he lost a yard on the play. It's gonna bring up third down and six. Yeah, he had to bail, pretty, bail pretty quick, didn't he? Yeah, that's a, a, a that, that was great pressure by the Iowa Hawkeyes defense there. Great pursuit after Daniels got broken pain there. And yeah, that was great, great, great pursuit by the Iowa defense, bringing him out of bounds and before he got anything going. Yeah, while he was spinning and scrambling hard to his left, I was looking up the field to see if there's anybody, and there was no receiver open. So that was about the only thing he could do. Looked like he had square, might have been open a little bit early on, but after that, after he kind of shook her off that and ran with it, he had nobody. And, oh, grabbed. Defender grabs Daniels and throws him down for a negative loss. One loss, it's going to be fourth and seven. They tried to do that read option. Iowa was ready for it. And uh, we'll see what LSU does here. If they kick this field goal, it'll make it a two-touchdown game. Great penetration again by the Iowa defense. That that run defense has been there solidly all game long. Other than that one big counterplay. All right, it's going to be about a 
44-yard field goal attempt here, and that is right down the middle and good. So 27-13 is your score. 14-point lead for LSU with 2.30 left in the third quarter. I was able to finally get on the uh, in the, get a touchdown in the red zone last time, so it should give them a little bit of more confidence going forward. If they can get a defensive stop, this game might be tied in no time. Another deep kickoff through the uprights. If my dogs don't stop barking, I'm going to have to go upstairs in a minute. <laughs> oh, gotta love. <laughs> All right, see what Iowa does here. Gotta love the good old dogs. Hold on one sec. All right, here. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. Sorry. All right, Iowa's got the ball, thrown 25, 230 left in the third quarter. Got four receivers, Williams behind Labus. Plenty of time, rolling hard to his left, trying to get away from the pass rush, just throws it away, smart move. A very smart move by Labus, no need to force anything. Uh, great, great play there. He didn't have anything right away, he tried to get away from the pressure. And... Uh, there was nobody he could throw it to real quick. Just had to get rid of it and not take a sack. Let's see what they do here on second down. They get Williams involved. Lachey's been big. He's had three good catches in the last two quarters. He's been their go-to guy uh, receiving. Here's a handoff to Vines. Tries to split the little gap there and gets dropped. It's going to be third down and ten. Couldn't squeeze through. Nah, I got a <coughs> ran to his uh, own lineman there, unfortunately. And good old lineman run over him and get stuck. So, I mean, that, that, that's unfortunate there. It looks like he had a gap there to get through and get a big gain out of it. All right, see what they go with here. We got trips. We got two to the left, sorry. Two to the left, one to the right. Lachey to the right. LSU defense overloaded to the right. Labus drops, looks, throws, got the man. Oh, and Vines dropped that. It. it was going to have enough yardage after the catch to get the first down, and he bricked it down to the ground with his stone hands. That was uh, that was a big first down he was going to get. Probably took his eyes off the ball. And uh, let's see if they go for it here. They're going to punt the ball. They're on their own 25-yard line, fourth and 10. <laughs> It's a tough call here, um, but it, if it's me, I go for it because you ain't going to have much time uh, to score or to get the ball back with uh, the way LSU's been scoring. And he's going empty backfield. we got five wide receiver set throws over the middle. Williams catches it. The running back does the job that the receiver couldn't. LaShawn Williams, 11-yard gain on fourth and 10, moves the chains. They go no huddle, minute 48 left in the third quarter. Can't get it to your big tight end. Go to your running back, your your second best player on the team, it looks like. Yep. Here's Labus pressure off the left. Hits Vines. This time he catches it, falls forward, picks up eight yards on the play. I guess he uh, he just isn't a uh, pressured down kind of receiver. He can catch it on first down, but not fourth or third down, right? <sighs> Second down and two. They go no huddle again with the five receivers. Remember, he does have the running back in the slot. Labus, plenty of time. Throws over the middle. This time Vines does catch it. 10 yards and a first down right around midfield. Maybe he got chewed out in the uh, huddle there, or at least from the sidelines. Get his head in the game. Yeah, definitely got it. Vines in this league. You got you to be a first down or and a fourth down player no matter what. You got to be an every down player no matter what in this league. Make one wrong mistake, you get to see yourself on the sideline most of the time. There we go. Five wide receivers, one in motion. Labus rolls to his right, trying to find somebody open. Hits a man up the sideline. Vines got the first down, powers through the defender, down to the 25-yard line. He was the man in motion out of the slot. He made it all the way to the other side of the field and up the sideline. No one covered him. Nice, easy throw. Iowa's got a lot of momentum going right now. See what uh, LSU can do on defense. Famous JT motion uh, tunnel screen there. Worked out for perfection for him there. There's a fake handoff. Labus drops, throws, man over the middle. Wetjen gets it, and he's going to get tackled right around the eight or nine yard line. Caden Wetjen, 16 yards and a first down. I was on a roll, and they go back to the no huddle again. 
No huddle has been working well for you this drive. Might as well keep on at it. Don't break what's not been broken. And this time he does hand out the Vines. He gets popped and dropped at the 10. Loses a yard on the play. It's going to be second to goal from the 10. Under a minute left in the quarter. Man, that was a hard hit. Great penetration there by the LSU defense. Uh, luckily able to get uh, penetration on there. Labus rolls hard to his left, avoiding the pressure, cuts it up, tries to squeeze through two guys, and gets taken down after a seven-yard gain. It's going to be third down to goal right around the three-yard line. Around, around 30 seconds left in the quarter. Iowa again goes no huddle. Got to figure he's going to go ahead and just go for it on fourth down since he's already inside the five. I'd watch this uh, QB draw here. No, nope, quick throw. Oh, and he oh, over his head. Goodness. Had him wide open. There was no one within five yards on either side of him, and he just airmailed it. Wow. Wow. Called the right play. Had the guy standing wide open and just threw it into uh, Mississippi. <laughs> wow. Man. That's that's a tough play right there. Yeah, as a as a coach, that's just you did everything right, and uh, the game just kind of decided, no, you're not going to catch this ball. He didn't even make an attempt; he just sailed it over his head. All right, big fourth down from the three. Pretty much every play should be available here. He's in the five wide receiver set, empty backfield. Lavis drops, looks. Plenty of time. No one's rushing. Tries to cut up the middle. Fumbles the ball. Oh, the offensive lineman picks it up, though, but it's going to be a turnover on downs right around the 10 or 11-yard line. And LSU's defense comes up strong again in the red zone for the third time. Yeah, LSU's been playing that bend, but don't break defense in the red zone tonight. And it's it's just been tough once you get down in the red zone. It's been tough to score on this defense. Yeah, they had everybody locked down in the end zone. There was really no one to throw to, and he just couldn't find a run lane. See what LSU – wouldn't be shocked to see them take a shot here. Play clock down to six, five, four. Hand off to Kane, runs into his own blocker, gets dragged down for a two-yard loss. And uh, that play's probably going to take us to the fourth quarter. Yes, it will. So get your fours up in chat, guys. After three, LSU's up 27 to 13. Got a big – Second down and 12 coming up, and uh, Iowa needs a turnover or at least a uh, three and out quick. Need a quick three and out turnover, like you said, Vaughn. It's defense has been playing pretty, uh, pretty, pretty well concerning a what, what, uh, new team, new scheme, and everything. They've been playing real well for Iowa, and uh, LSU's just picking up pretty much where they left off on offense. Somewhat slow to start off the game and then kind of got it going there in the third quarter. It's interesting to see what the, we, we see coming in the fourth quarter here. All right. LSU comes out, three receivers to the left, one to the right, tight end right. Play clock's down to five already. Sends the uh, receiver in motion into the slot, down to one. Gets the snap just off in time. Throws to the out, gets it, and dragged down to 25, 16 yards for Malik Neighbors on second and 12. Had just enough room to squeeze that pass in. Thought Iowa might have a chance to at least bat it down, but they couldn't get to it. Yeah, slight chance there to get that ball, and not, just unfortunately not, not be able to get there. Man, this is going to burn more time off the clock, which is not what Iowa needs. LSU's kind of uh, in the driver's seat here. Whether they get points or not, if they can take time off the clock, it's going to make it really difficult. Field goal would make it a three-score game. That would almost be insurmountable, but we'll see. I've seen a lot of weird shit happen in this league, so. We've seen 28-point leads get get wiped out. We've seen plenty of crazy things get Quick wiped. Quick wing pass to the, uh, I don't know, is a running back, wide receiver, Kyron Lacey. 11-yard gain. Look, a little bubble screen there. He just kind of hit him quick. Reminds me of uh, Waste and Ostrich's plays. And uh, picks up a big first down to keep the uh, clock moving, keep the momentum going. Good old... Uh... Bubble screen play that that sausages does like to run out of that formation there. And it's it's very uh, very executed, well play in this league for sure. And it's such a quick pass; nobody has time to shed a block and get to him. So if you can master that play, man, then you're going to pick up five, six, seven, ten, fifteen yards, whatever. As long as you get good blocking and receivers. Here's a handoff to Kane. Gets a hold 
and falls forward, picks up five yards on the play. Give them second down and five as we uh, come close to the six-minute mark right now left in this game. Iowa needs a, they need a turnover quick. Yeah, Iowa needs a turnover, a quick three and out here, or an incomplete pass coming on up. And um, running, I, I'm really surprised, to be honest with you, Vaughn, that we've not seen more running out of Broncos than what we normally see in this league. Yeah, he's, he's been uh, moving the ball around, different guys, disguising some of his runs really well, taking shots when he can. It's a quick, looks like a screen, throws, and he's going to get dragged down immediately and loss of five on the play. Iowa did not fall for that. They, they had a guy standing there just waiting for him to catch the ball and throw him to the ground. Great play there by the Iowa defense. Now it's time for your defense to really stand up here on third and nine and get the stop. <clears throat> the only good thing about that for LSU was the clock continues to roll. He didn't drop the pass, so we're closing in on a five-minute mark. Plenty of time for Iowa to get the ball, score, get another turnover, three downs and out, um, onside kick. LSU just needs to move down the field, eat the clock, get first downs. Whether they score or not, it's irrelevant. They just want to take time off the clock here. Daniels looks, steps up, and he gets brought down. The heat came hard from the left. Tacked for a four-yard loss. He's going to bring up fourth and 13. Big play by the Iowa defense, just what they needed. I think that's what I was actual first sack tonight, Vaughn. Nah, uh, I think he, he had. Uh, I think he had one early in the first half, but he hasn't had too many. He's made him run out of the pocket more than anything else. And uh, welcome to the Raiders coming in from uh, always KD. Welcome in, guys. Got a two-score game here with four thirty left, and I was about to get the ball back. Stick around. We do have another game immediately after this one. Wisconsin against Baylor, so see what they do here. JT's looking for some sort of punt return out of this. Good return. LSU's going to try and kick this out of bounds. <coughs> and he's just bleeding the clock as much as he can. Low line drive running up, and he's got it. Gets around one guy. Oh. Gets finally taken down around the 42-yard line, six-yard return. He's, he's very fortunate didn't just bounce off as a return guy and right to LSU. Yeah, very un very fortunate there. Um, it's kind of surprising to get Wallop there for not fair catching that one. Uh, very fortunate that the LSU defender looked like he was a bit confused there. All right. Iowa has the ball close to midfield. Great starting position for them. Hoping to score without taking much time off the clock. Here's a throw, and this one is picked at the 45 and taken down at the 49. The second interception by LSU, secondary on the game. Undercut that route again, just like the last time, and uh, now they get to bleed more time off the clock. Man, that's 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 very unfortunate for Iowa's offense there. You, you get the ball back, opportunity to go down the field and score, and quarterback looks like he's kind of forcing that one. Uh, into the wider receiver. Let's see if they want to keep this on the ground again. Letting that clock go down. Here's Kane, and he gets hit immediately and dropped for a one-yard loss in the play. The uh, Hawkeyes are expecting the run. They're getting good penetration, limiting them, not letting them get to the outside. And the uh, only bad thing for them now is this clock just keeps ticking. Tick, 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 tick. But yeah, Iowa's defense has really been playing great all all game, Vaughn. I mean, it's it's they've had great um, pressure for on the running game and everything else. Just one big play out of the offense, really. Um, it's pretty much turned this game around. All right, you got trips left, tight end to the right, sends a tight end in motion as per usual. Lead neck play clock down to six five. Fake handoff, rolls to his right, trying to find a guy over the middle. No one's open. Scrambles up the sideline and gets taken out of bounds right at the 40, 45. Is that midfield? I can't tell what marker that is. At the 45. So it's going to bring up third down and four. Clock is temporarily stopped. Now it goes again. He's going to snap this with less than three minutes left in this game. <coughs> 
Yeah, that's that's one thing I never understand. Or maybe it will I understand. You you get knocked out of bounds, clock continues to run. Alright, play clock down to ten. Game clock down at three oh three. Kane goes in motion. Quarterback's just bleeding this clock. Quick throw. Out route. Batted down. JT was hoping for an interception, but the defender just swatted it down. It's going to bring up fourth down and four on the 45. So again, this is a 62-yard field goal, so he's going to have to punt. Unless he go go for it. For it. If he goes for it, he can pretty much end the game. Um, not with one more... First down, Iowa still has three timeouts, but they can control the rest of this clock. Looks like they're going to go for it as well. All right, huge play. Very LSU, huge first, play here. LSU gets the first down. They're going to control the clock the rest of the game. If Iowa stops them, they only got to go about 50 yards and try and cut this down to a one-score game. Kane goes in motion out to the left. Play clock down to four. Daniels rolling to his right. He's going to get the first down up the sideline, cuts it back in, and surprisingly, he steps out at the 25. I guess so he doesn't he get hit and fumble. Gains the first yard, uh, gets the first down, and we're under three minutes. And I was going to have to start using their timeouts now because they, they, uh, they need time on the clock, even if they get a turnover. Yeah, we've seen a lot of crazy things, though. Don't need much time to score in this league, that's for sure. Yeah, they're hoping for a pick six or a strip sack, fumble, scoop, and score. Got motion from right to left. Nobody moves. Making an adjustment. Here's the handoff to Kane. Was going up the middle. Cuts back to the outside. Gets taken down quick. So it's three-yard gain. It's going to bring up second down and seven. And Iowa burns their first time out at 224. <laughs> good, uh, good time out there, unfortunately. But... Um, now you, your defense just needs to step up here and get a stop more than anything right now. Sure, I need about well. Oh, big stop! Armani Goodwin got the handoff, tried to do a spin move, and got knocked down for a three-yard loss. It's going to bring up third down and nine from the twenty-five. Iowa calls their second timeout. Two twenty left. They get a stop here. All LSU has to do is kick a field goal and be a three-score game. So if you're LSU, you don't really need to do too much. You can uh, pretty much end this game with a field goal where uh, Iowa needs to get a uh, a big hit, strip the ball away from the runner. I would be shocked if LSU throws the ball here. And, of course, they come out with a uh, empty backfield. So you got to look for the uh, quarterback run here. Throws a quick screen pass, gets to the outside, gets the first down, bounces off one guy, taken down at the 14. Kyron Lacey, that little quick pass, the little bubble screen to the halfback, and the wide receivers have worked well for LSU tonight when they've needed to go to him. Man, down to the two fifteen left, and that pretty much seals the deal. That's 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 tough there for Iowa. Just need to get a batted pass, possibly pick it off there. Just not able to come up with the big uh, play there with, uh, with the bubble screen. Now we got a power eye formation here. Receiver goes in motion across the uh, formation. Here's the pitch play. Looking to get some outside. Kane down, and he's going to get dragged down at the 10. Picks up four on the play. And more importantly for LSU, he stays in bounds. Clock keeps rolling down to 140. <clears throat> It's the first pitch play we've seen tonight. LSU unbalanced it. Tried to move that uh, DD out with the motion, and he wasn't uh, having any of that, but they still got a good play. Comes in motion back into the slot again. Here's the handoff. Kane up the middle. Nice hole. Gets popped. Falls forward for an extra three. It's an eight-yard gain. It's going to be first and goal right around the uh, one-and-a-half, two-yard line. Typical NWO fall forward. Yeah, 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 you got to definitely love that animation if you're on the offensive side. On the defensive side, you're more or less like, why? Why do you have to fall forward like that? All right, LSU, not only bleeding the clock out, 
trying to extend this lead. Quarterback power run up the middle, spins, twists, falls forward, gets the two-yard touchdown. And uh, get this extra point. They'll be up by uh, three scores with 54 seconds left. See what Iowa does when they get the ball. See if they can work on something for their offense and try and find something that clicks. Especially, uh, you know, on two-minute drill. Might as well go ahead and try to uh, figure out what works and doesn't work. Just... Just start getting the groove on your offense here. I understand it's a uh, new team, new uh, packages that you have to work on. Um, just try to get a groove on uh, with your offense here on this last drive with Labus. And uh, Jimmy just said in chat that Iowa covered the uh, LSU minus 29 and a half on the uh, betting poll. So. <clears throat> Looks like we'll possibly see a quarterback change here. Yeah, it looks like they're going to bring in Padilla to play quarterback. See if Alex uh, can sling this a little bit further than uh, Labus was. 54 seconds left in this game. Let's see what the uh, LSU is going to call on defense here. Maybe they might they might be subbing out a bunch of players so they don't get an injury. Yeah, I definitely don't want any injuries early on in the season. Still early. Start a new season. Hate to see a big injury happen for your defense here. All right. Five receiver look. Padilla looks, throws it deep down the left sideline to Bruce, and it's batted down. Got a hand on it. Just couldn't bring it down. Incomplete. Yeah. It's going to bring up second and 10 with 48 seconds left. Padilla's definitely got a bigger arm than what uh, Labus has. That's for sure. Um, all right, come out. Two receivers left, one right. Lachey on the right end of the line. Idea, quick drop, rolling hard to his right, looking, throwing over the middle, caught by Vines, tripped and dropped after a five yard gain. It's going to bring up third down and five. Clock rolling at 39, 38, 37. No huddle. Iowa tries to scramble to the line. Receivers are taking forever to get back to the line. Running in slow motion. Game clock to 28. Padilla drops, looks, throws up the sideline. Williams catches it, gets the first down. I'm not sure if they dragged him out of bounds or if he's. they're going to say he's down inbounds. He's had four catches for, it, for 58 yards, and they've been all clutch catches all night long. Might have to get him more involved in the pass game. Yeah, if you're Iowa, you definitely gotta get him more involved. Period in the offense, he's been your best player all all night long, other than uh, Lackey. And all right, setting up a screen, a little shell pass to Williams, cuts it back inside, bounces off his own lineman, falls forward, gets an 11 yard gain, another first down, stops the clock, and uh, uh -oh. lost our stream. Yeah, it was. Uh... It was laggy, laggy, so hold on here, guys. All right. Technical difficulties were uh, corrected, so... Get back to the last 14 seconds left here. First down and 10 for Iowa. <clears throat> All right, shotgun formation. Padilla, plenty of time. Throws over the middle. Vines catches it. Should be enough forward progress to be a first down. It is 11 yards. Stops the clock. Well, temporarily stops the clock. Six seconds left. And uh, Iowa calls their final timeout. And they're just going to practice on the field goal here. Get a nice long field goal, 43 yards. Kick is going to be up and right down the middle and good. Makes it 34-16, uh, three seconds left. See if they can get this onside kick. Maybe get one second left on the clock. <clears throat> well, Vaughn, uh, what's, uh, what's nope. your prediction? They scooped and got it. So uh, LSU's got it. They can just take a knee and end this game. So 
I'll pretty much wrap that up. LSU is going to get this dub over Iowa, first game of the year for both teams. And, uh, yeah, we'll be on to the second game here momentarily. We've got to have our post-game uh, interviews, and then we'll get on to the second game as soon as they take a knee here. Uh, like you were saying, second game that's with Wisconsin and Baylor. That'll be a defensive head coach against an offensive-minded head coach. So that'll be interesting. All right, let's get the uh, winner of this game in here. Talk to Junior Broncos. What's going on, boys? How you doing today, man? That was doing uh, good. Very impressive game on both sides of the ball, man. Uh, tell me about your defense, your red zone defense specifically. Yeah, we played, uh, first of all, great game, JT. Um, JT's had my number. This is uh, my first win against him. Uh, so new third time would be a, maybe be a charm. But um, we mixed it up, played a lot of zone. Um, you know, I had a, a way better OV. I think it's like 97, 81. So the talent level was stacked. And uh, my defensive line um, – definitely showing those plus five uh off-season attributes um but uh red zone we were able to make and make mistakes uh normally we're the ones making mistakes so uh just try to play conservative and showed you had 26 carries you did run the ball a lot daniels had some nice scrambles kane got the ball um and got good yardage when he needed to so and you were able to mix it up and take your shots when you needed to so is that uh is that your main idea on offense try and mix it up use daniels to scramble when you need to and take shots when they're open is that what that what you were attempting? yeah to do? before i my second time i played jt i went and watched a bunch of tape and it went so this time i didn't really watch any tape and i was kind of reading and react and he was pressing a lot of those corners early and i know it was maybe even a disguise too but i know i looked at his corners early on and there's a big speed a little bit of a speed discrepancy so I, i've got some speed on the outside this year um, with hilton and so i was able to get some good deep balls um but, uh, yeah, we're just kind of reacting what the defense was giving us. Clink, you uh, got anything for Junior Broncos? Uh, got a big game next week, Coach. Uh, what's your kind of expectations for that one? Um, I don't, to be honest, Clink, I don't even know who I'm playing. Who am I playing? Playing me, Pimp. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely good game. Tennessee. Is that in Knoxville? That's a big yes. SEC matchup. Big old Knoxville. Yeah, it'll be good. I'm just kind of um, – this, this team's still pretty fresh. Um, I got a lot of freshmen playing on the defense, so uh, I expect there to be a lot of points. That'll be fun. Um, if you start – if we start throwing a firefight, as uh, Snosser would say, I'll get down. I'm down for slinging it. <laughs> Love a sling fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, Coach, uh, good showing out first week. Uh, good luck next week, and uh, – can't wait to face you. Yeah, we'll see. I'll see you. Clint. Appreciate you guys uh, commenting and uh, everyone that showed up. JT, great game. No problem. Good game. Way to go, Junior. Let's get JT in here. What's going on? What's up, Coach? So uh, what's your impressions of the new squad? I know it's a little undermanned for the league right now and kind of doing what you can and what do you figure out in this game, if anything? Um. Our offensive line is not built for the triple option like I thought it would be. Um, there's just – everyone's had that, that year of recruiting, and I opted to switch schools and shoot myself in the, in the foot and lose out on that year of recruiting. So everyone's got like 90-plus excel outside linebackers, and triple option is just not going to be there. It works against the CPU, but it's users especially users that know what to recruit. Uh, it's going to be a difficult difficult year, but we're just glad to be home. So you were able to move the ball on offense despite Labus not having the strongest throwing arm. But once you got in the red zone, he stopped you three different times, a couple of picks. Um, what, do you, what do you got to do down there? Because, you know, he did run some triple options down there and they weren't working. Um, Lachey did get involved at one point. Williams was catching the ball in the backfield. Um, what can you do to uh, get more touchdowns and field goals in the red zone once you get down there? Uh, honestly, Vaughn, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, if I if I was at uh, Oregon State still, I could tell you I'd just give the ball to Low and let Low power his way in. But we we got some work to do. I gotta I gotta do some more testing, I guess, and and see what what we can come up with because I I. I ran my usual red zone plays and I just was not effective at all tonight. So 
we're gonna we're gonna reopen the entire playbook and we've got a few playbooks on standby just in case for reasons like this so we're gonna have to open them up and see what we can do so you did play Padilla late so you satisfied with the uh, the way he threw the ball is it possible he could come back in and start are you just gonna stay with Labus or is it just gonna be see how it goes as we as you play your games we're, we're with Labus all the way uh, Padilla he just has the better arm and uh, I didn't like that last minute instead of kneeling it out. Uh, he went ahead and scored instead of just taking two knees and ending the game. So I put in uh, put in the stronger arm and went down and got my points. All right, Clink, you got anything for uh, JT? Coach, um, defense kind of held strong there for the most part. Um, what's the main thing you really have to work out with the with, uh... – with the defense there, I got away from my game plan. Uh, I've been saying I'm this. We got to run zone. There's no, no other option. Our our defensive backfield is other than Wonkba and Cooper DeGene, It's slow. We got a corner out there with 84 speed. So we got to work with what we have, and we just we gotta we gotta create the right scheme for our guys, not get the right guys for our scheme right now. Um, <clears throat> another question. Uh, do you think uh, you used Lackey enough um, for the situation that you were in? Or uh, do you think was... you need... Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Or do you think you need to feed him a little bit more than what you did? I mean, obviously, everyone knows I like I like to feed my tight ends. That's that's my main goal if my if i can't get the running game going and i'm not beating you over the top i'm dumping it off to the tight end everyone in the league knows that and jb clearly knew that because most of the time his user was sitting on the tight end so uh my safety blanket was kind of taken away this game so i had to i had to rely on Lashawn williams out of the backfield a, a lot more than i want to so obviously yeah we're gonna we're gonna get Lachey more involved we'll uh we'll scheme up some stuff for him all right, Coach. Uh, let's see what we got. We got. We got. Looks like uh, you off next week. So enjoy the off week and uh, good luck the rest of the season, Coach. Yeah, we got something cooking up for them. Uh, the Wolf Pack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for uh, both you guys to uh, come talk with us after the game. Thanks for everybody stop by to watch. Stick around. We do have a second game of this doubleheader coming right up. After uh, we get both coaches ready to go, um, Coach Bruce Hill's Wisconsin Badgers against uh, Serpanda Slayer's Baylor Bears. So uh, stick around. That'll be an exciting game. Like I said, Baylor loves to uh, sling the ball and run on offense, and Wisconsin plays a great defense. So this should be very interesting.